This time we'll create gothic window. Hide all the object in the scene and create a plane. Rotate 90 degrees and change the vision width to 2 and height to 1. Switch to front view and place plane over reference image. Scale and center to fit the bottom part of the frame. Use move and scale tools. Next go to toolkit and change symmetry to X. This way you will model both sides at the same time. Switch to edge and move to frame edge. Hold down shift button and move edge to extrude new polygon. Repeat the process to the point when you will reach outer edge of the window. Next select bottom part and extrude down. Select lines that belong to the frame but not the glass. Extrude them up to the point where the window frame starts to curve. Now select outside frame, extrude it and use rotation to match curvature of the window. Please make sure you do not hold shift down when you rotate. Otherwise you will extrude edge again. Switch to vertices component and move vertices to match references as close as possible. Switch back to edge and extrude center of the window frame and move vertices again as needed. To change edge direction when extruding window center, you need to make a V-shape cut. Select multi-cut tool, make cut and hit enter when you finish cutting. Next, turn off multi-cut tool. Reshape newly created mesh and keep extruding. To close opening between outside and inside frame, use bridge. Select two edges, click bridge and hit Q to switch to selection tool and to complete bridging process. Switch back to vertices, turn off symmetry and merge to center vertices to close the gap. And move vertices to match references as close as possible. This will be a good time to reduce poly count by merging vertices that do not support window structure. Remember to turn on symmetry so you do not need to repeat the process on the other side. After you finish cleaning process, switch to object, turn off symmetry and duplicate mesh twice. First we'll create window that has front only. We will accomplish that by selecting faces and extruding them forward. To select faces or edges in the loop, Select first face or edge. Hold down shift key and double click second face or edge. Next we will select inside window edge and bevel it to soften the edge and to add extra detail to the window. Repeat process on outer edge as well. To create second double sided window you need to extrude first whole frame at once. Then select faces that need to be pushed in on both sides and extrude them in. Next you can bevel window edges as we did with first window. Repeat process on outer edge as well. The last frame will be used to create windows openings in the building later. Delete inside part of the frame. Next select window outer edge and extrude. Delete rest of the front of the frame. After that switch to edge and remove unnecessary edges. Hold down control and then hit delete button to delete edge and the associated shared vertices at the same time.
Next, let's create class for our windows that can be UV mapped and textured separately. Start the process by creating a plane, rotating it and changing divisions to 1 for both subdivisions width and height. Duplicate plane and then reshape each plane separately in order to match window openings. Move vertices to match reference as close as possible. Use Multicut tool to divide mesh and to add vertices that will help you reshape window mesh. The Multicut tool cuts, slices and inserts edge loops. Use second plane to model one of the elongated glass pieces. Move mesh plane to proper position, scale it, but this time divide mesh by using connect tool. Select two edges and click connect tool. Next extrude and reshape mesh. Switch to object component and duplicate glass panel. After that, select all the pieces and combine them into one piece. Duplicate and move glass mesh to place in second window opening. In the next video, we will model additional windows and the door. Thank you.